Bueno, voy a empezar leyendo Proverbios 3.5. Want to start by reading uh, Proverbs 3.5. Que dice así, confía en el Señor de todo corazón y so, no en tu propia inteligencia. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Dios es fiel. ¿Qué significa Dios es fiel? Que podemos confiar plenamente en que no falla. Él es infalible. God is faithful. What does it mean that he is faithful? That means that we can trust 100% that he does not fail. El Salmo 128, 1 al 2 dice, Dios bendice a todos los que lo obedecen y siguen sus enseñanzas. Si tú eres uno de ellos, Dios te bendecirá mucho. Psalm 128, 1 and 2 says, Blessed are all who fear the Lord, who walk in his ways. You will eat the fruit of your labor, blessings and prosperity will be yours. Cuando vamos a ver a un médico especialista que nos receta algo, lo tomamos. So when we go and see a doctor, a specialist, um, who gives us um, some kind of a prescription, we take the prescription because we trust that they are really a specialist and that they know because they studied medicine and they specialized in the area that we're being affected in. Very often we don't even uh, know the, the medic, the doctor, but we trust uh, in the doctor and in, in what they prescribed to us for our condition. Quizás porque confiamos en el sistema que tiene que pasar por distintas pruebas, tiene que tener títulos, Confiamos en que realmente tiene que ser alguien confiable y por eso aceptamos lo que dice. Maybe we trust because we know they've gone through the system, they've had to jump through the hoops, and that's why we trust in what they are prescribing us. Es más, por lo general ni siquiera sabemos lo que tiene el remedio, lo que nos está dando, ni siquiera sabemos qué hay adentro de esa pastilla. And it, even more than that, I can also say that very often we don't exactly know what we're taking, what they're prescribed to us. We often don't know what's in the, the prescription. Pero confiamos porque sabemos que el médico sabe y es bueno. But we trust because we know that the, we, we believe that the doctor uh, knows and that they are good, they're professional. ¿Cuánto más podemos confiar en el creador de todo lo que existe? And so how much more can we trust in the creator of everything that exists? Si confiamos en un médico que en realidad sabemos que puede fallar, ¿cuánto más podemos confiar en el médico que nunca falla? And if we trust in the doctor that we know can fail, how much, sure, how much more should we trust in the one that we know never fails? Uno obedece cuando sabe que el que te dice que hagas tal o cual cosa sabe lo que dice y no falla. Es bueno. And one obeys when one knows that somebody who gives one the instruction is good and never fails. Vamos a obedecer a Dios porque sabemos que lo que Él nos dice es bueno y no hay falla en Él. Y realmente él dice, como dice el Salmo 128. So we're going to obey God because we know that what he says is good and that he doesn't fail and he really, um, what he says really blesses us, as it says in Psalm 128. ¿Cuál fue el problema de la humanidad? ¿Qué pasó al principio? What was, human, what was the human problem at the beginning? ¿Cuál fue el problema que llevó a la caída al principio? What was the, the problem that led to the fall at the beginning? La desobediencia. Disobedience. Desobedecer y no creer en el Dios que no falla trajo maldición a este mundo. Disobey and uh, not trusting in the one who doesn't fail brought a curse on this world. 
¿Y por qué desobedeció el hombre? ¿Por qué no confiaron en la infalibilidad, infalibilidad de Dios, de su palabra? And why did man uh, uh, disobey and why didn't they trust in the infallible word of God and his word? Porque no confiaron en que Dios no falla. Because they did not trust, they did not believe that God does not fail. Le creyeron a la mentira, no le creas a la palabra de Dios. No es tan así, dijo la serpiente, y decidieron creer a la mentira. They believed the lie. They do not believe the word. Uh, it's not quite like that, the serpent said. Cuando llegué a Gales, me encontré con un grupo de pastores de las capillas galesas. When I arrived in Wales, I, I had an encounter with a group of pastors from Welsh uh, chapels. Que eran liberales. And they were, they were liberal. Y yo no sabía bien de qué se trataba. Uh, I didn't know very much about what they believed in. Pero me sorprendió escuchar que no creían en el Antiguo Testamento and ni I was, en la Resurrección. I was surprised to believe they didn't believe in the Old Testament, they didn't believe in the Resurrection. No creían en los milagros de Jesús. They didn't believe in the miracles of Jesus. Todo era metafórico para ellos. Oh no, everything was like a metaphor for them. Y realmente fue muy duro para mí escuchar pastores que se hacen llamar pastores que tienen títulos como pastores que no creen en la palabra de Dios. And for me it was very difficult to hear that they were pastors or the people that were given the title pastor but who didn't believe in the word of God. Pero el resultado de esa situación de no creer en la palabra de Dios es evidente en Gales. But the the result and the fruit of that not believing in the word of God is evident in Wales. No confiar en la palabra de Dios dio como resultado la sequía espiritual en ese país. Not trusting in the word of God has brought forth the fruit of drought in that country. No confiar en lo que sale de su boca, lo que él dice. Not trusting in what comes out of the mouth of God, what he says, the word of God. Y el resultado de hoy es muy triste. Cantidad de capillas cerrando, capillas que abrieron en los grandes avivamientos de Gales, iglesias secas, un porcentaje muy bajo de la población que es creyente. And the, the result now is, is sad. There are many, many Welsh chapels that were built in revivals in the past, and they're closed and being sold off for other purposes, empty, half empty, and a very low percentage of the population believes in, in God. Y no es en Gales, it's, pasa en y en de and it's not just in Wales, but it also happens in England and many other parts of Europe. And many other places in the world where people start to hear and believe that lie, that the word of God, oh, it's not quite like that, don't believe it so much. Desde el principio vemos falsos profetas, falsos pastores que no creen en la palabra. And the, we see um, from the beginning false pastors that don't believe in the Old Testament. La Biblia nos llama falsos profetas. The Bible calls them false prophets. Like, Hoy vemos lo mismo, gente que no cree en el Antiguo Testamento, que se hace llamar pastor o profeta, que no cree. En la palabra de Dios. And we see today the same thing, people that uh, call themselves pastors and they don't believe in the Old Testament, they don't believe in the miracles of the New Testament. Llegar a no creer en la resurrección. No tiene sentido el Evangelio, dice Pablo, si no creemos en la resurrección de Cristo. And they arrive to a point where they don't believe in the resurrection. And the Apostle Paul himself says that everything is pointless if you don't believe in the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Es terrible lo que pasa cuando nos alejamos de la palabra de Dios. And it's terrible what happens when we uh, depart, when we um, grow apart from the word of God. ¿Qué ven acá? What do you see here? Dos líneas que están como. Two lines that are, what, what are they, these lines? Se ven paralelas, ¿no? Parallel. ¿Están seguros que están paralelas? Are you sure that they're parallel? No, hay algunos que tienen buena vista. Some of you have good uh, eyesight. 
No están paralelas, pero parecen paralelas. They're not parallel, but they look parallel. Y ese es el problema cuando empezamos a dudar un poquito. And that's what happens when we start to doubt a bit. La palabra de Dios no es tan así. The word of God isn't quite like that. Nos seguimos viendo como evangélicos. We see ourselves still as evangelicals. Pero no creemos tanto la palabra de Dios. But we don't believe the word of God that much. Miren lo que pasa cuando la línea sigue más adelante. Let's have a look at what happens when the line continues a bit further on. Se separó un poco más. Ahora sí que no se ven rectas. And now you can see that they're not no parallel. Paralelas. Miren al final lo que pasa. And look what happens at the end. Totalmente separados. Totally sin, separate. Sin Dios y sin su palabra. Without God and without his word. Eso es lo que pasa cuando empezamos a hacer lo mismo que hizo Adán y Eva. And that's what happens when we start doing the same as what Adam and Eve did. Creer a la mentira que vino a decir no es tan así. Believe in the lie the serpent came to say it's not quite like that. Para mí fue muy difícil eh, conocer a esa gente y escuchar lo que ellos decían y pelear con ellos. And for me it was very difficult to get to know these people and to hear the things they were saying and to start um, arguing with them. No soy una persona que suele ponerse depresiva. I'm not somebody who easily gets depressed. Pero eso me causó una cierta depresión. But that caused a certain amount of depression in me. Apenas llegué al país de Gales. When I had just arrived in Wales. Pero Dios me había preparado algo. But God had prepared something for me. Ellos me sacudieron la fe. Lo voy they, a they shook my faith, I have to confess. Me hicieron sentir muy mal y me hicieron dudar de cosas. And they made me feel quite bad and they started, uh, I started doubting some things. Pero justo antes de venir a Gales, Dios me había dado dos sueños que no había terminado de entender por qué los había tenido. But just before I came to Wales, God had given me uh, two dreams that I hadn't fully understood at the time. Uno de los sueños era con una vecina que yo tenía donde yo vivía en Trevelin, en la Patagonia. One of the dreams was, uh, I had a dream, I dreamt of somebody that I had lived close to when I lived in Patagonia, in Argentina. No voy a dar muchos <laughs> detalles por el tiempo. I'm not going to go into too much detail because of time constraints. Pero el sueño, yo la vi en el sueño, ella era una persona de contextura grande. I saw this lady in a dream, and she was quite a large lady. In la realidad, una in, in, not in the dream, in reality, she was quite a large lady. And uh, when I, in the dream, I went to the door of her house, and I knocked on the door, and uh, the lady opened the door. She usually used to call me from her sofa. And she was really slim. I'd never seen her that slim as in that dream. Fue toda su vida de contextura grande. And her whole life she was quite a large lady. And I woke up and I went to tell this dream to my neighbor. Ella estaba contenta y esperaba que se haga realidad. And she, she was happy and she hoped that the dream would come true. Tuve otro sueño más también en ese tiempo antes de viajar. And I had another dream in that time before traveling, um, before traveling. Con una ex compañera de la secundaria que no podía quedar embarazada, estaba casada y hizo muchos tratamientos y nunca podía quedar embarazada. And I dreamt of a, a, a school friend of mine from my... From my teenager childhood and she she'd been married for a long time and she couldn't fall pregnant she was going through all kinds of IVF processes and she couldn't uh, she couldn't fall pregnant in the dream I had I went to the shop that she was in in my town traveling in in Patagonia and uh, she had a child in her arms esos dos sueños los tuve y le conté a la chica y these, ella estaba muy contenta y también esperaba que se haga realidad. These dreams I had, I also told this dream to this, uh, this lady and she was very happy and obviously she hoped that it would, be, it would come true. 
Después de esos sueños me vine a Gales y me pasó todo esto con los liberales. And after these dreams, um, I, I went to Wales and uh, I had this encounter with these, these liberal pastors that I was telling you about before who didn't believe in the word. Que me movieron toda la estantería de la fe. And they shook all of my faith system, my whole, my faith. Y cuando volví por primera vez a Trevelin de vacaciones después de todo ese shock, And when I went back to travel into Patagonia on holiday, um, when I was living in Wales, I went back on holiday to, to Patagonia. Fui a la casa after the de, shock. Fui yeah. a la casa de esta señora de familia galesa en Trevelin, que era de contextura grande. I went back to the house of this, this large lady back in my hometown. Golpeé la puerta. And I knocked on the door. Ella abrió la puerta. And she opened the door. Y era una mujer flaca. Como la vi en el sueño. And she was a, a thin lady, just as I saw in the dream. Me hizo a su casa. She made me come into her house. Igual que en el sueño. The same as in the dream. And when I saw her, I couldn't stop crying. Se hizo el sueño. Because the dream became true. Fui al de la chica, and, I went, podía and I went to the shop of this, uh, the, this other lady who couldn't fall pregnant, couldn't conceive. Entré a su negocio, and I went into her shop y ella me trajo un varón and, en sus and she brought a baby boy in her arms. And the dream of the lady who couldn't fall pregnant had come true. Volví a Gales con una fe fortalecida, mucho más fuerte que antes. And I came back to Wales with a faith that was much stronger than before. La Biblia dice en el Salmo 147, 10 al 11, la fuerza del caballo no impresiona a Dios y la velocidad de un corredor no le sorprende. El pueblo que lo respeta agrada a Jehová. Los que ponen su esperanza en su amor Yeah. And there's uh, the next psalm, which is, ¿qué número es? Oh, 147, uh, from 10 to 11, says, just adding to the suspense. Um, it says, his pleasure is not in the strength of the horse, nor his delight in the legs of a man. The Lord delights in those who fear him, who put their hope in his unfailing love. Y si nos ponemos a pensar y nos hacemos la pregunta, ¿hay algo que pueda maravillar a Dios? La respuesta va a ser, no, Él es el creador de todo lo que existe. ¿Qué va a maravillar a Dios? And when we start to think about it, we ask ourselves the question, is there anything that can surprise God? Is there anything that can... Um, Yeah, surprising. <laughs> I can't think of a better word. No. And the answer is definitely no. Es el de todo lo que He's the creator of all things. But this psalm says that yes, there is something that surprises God. Y es la gente que le cree. It's the people that believes in him. La gente que cree que él no falla. The people that believe that he does not fail. Que él es fiel todo el that he is faithful always. Que su amor es fiel. That his love is faithful. El pueblo que lo respeta agrada a Jehová, maravilla a Jehová, los que ponen su esperanza en su amor fiel. And uh, the people that trust in his faithful love, the ones that surprise God. Y por eso en Hebreos 11 hay una li lista larga de los que maravillaron a Dios con su fe. Así que le voy a pedir a Stephen que lea Hebreos 11, 1 al 12. So in, in Hebrews 11, 1 to 12, there is a list of, of people who surprise God. It says, now faith is being sure of what we have hoped for and certain of what we do not see. This is what the ancients were commended for. By faith, we understand that the universe was formed at God's command so that What is seen was not made out of what was visible. By faith, Abel offered God a better sacrifice than Cain did. By faith, he was commended as a righteous man when God spoke well of its offering. And by faith, he still speaks, even though he is dead. By faith, Enoch was taken from this life so that he did not experience death. 
He could not be found because God had taken him away. For before he was taken, he was commended as one who pleased God. And without faith, it is impossible to please God because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. By faith, Noah, when warned about things not yet seen, in holy fear, built an ark to save his family. By his faith, he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness that comes by faith. By faith, Abraham, when called to go to a place he would later receive as his inheritance, obeyed and went, even though he did not know where he was going. By faith, he made his home in the promised land like a stranger in a foreign country. He lived in tents, as did Isaac and Jacob, who were heirs with him of the same promise. For he was looking forward to the city with foundations, whose architect and builder is God. By faith, Abraham, even though he was past age and Sarah herself was barren, was enabled to become a father because he considered him faithful who had made the promise. And so from this one man, and he as good as dead, came descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky and as countless as the sand on the seashore. En realidad, sin fe es imposible agradar, agradar a Dios, ya que cualquiera que se acerca a Dios tiene que creer que Él existe y que recompensa a quienes lo buscan. So without faith it is impossible to please God, because in order to draw near to God, it is necessary to believe that He exists and that He is a rewarder of those that seek Him. Toda esta lista de gente es una lista de gente que se quedó paralela a la palabra de Dios. Creyó en las promesas de Dios como Abraham, porque consideró fiel al que le había hecho la promesa. So this whole list of, of people is a list of people who remained parallel to the word of God and they believed and they believed in his promise and they believed in his words. La Biblia no dice que eran perfectos, estaban llenos de errores. The Bible doesn't say they were perfect, they were full of errors and mistakes. Pero fueron considerados justos por creer en el amor infalible de Dios. But they were considered righteousness, righteous and just because they believed in the uh, infallible love of God. Hebreos 11 termina hablando de los que su, eh, sufrieron por creer en las promesas de Dios sin ver la recompensa completa en esta tierra. Perdón, ¿qué pasa aquí? Hebreos 11. Oh, Hebrews 11, at the end, talks about those who... Um, <coughs> he sido vuelta, perdón. Hebreos 11 no. termina hablando de los que sufrieron por compartir, por creer en estas promesas de mm. Dios y por vivir en esta tierra sin llegar a ver la recompensa por creer en las promesas yeah. de Dios. The end of that passage of Hebrews 11... <coughs> excuse me, talks about those who uh, suffered and those who didn't see the fruit of their faith, um, but they still believed, and it, re it talks about their reward. Y ya terminando, según de Timoteo, de Timoteo 2, 10 al 13, dice, Por tanto, todo lo soporto por amor de los escogidos, para que ellos también obtengan la salvación que es en Cristo Jesús con gloria eterna. Palabra fiel es esta, dice el apóstol Pablo a Timoteo. Si somos muertos con él, también viviremos con él. Si sufrimos, también reinaremos con él. Si le negaremos, él también nos negará. Pero si fuéramos infieles, ¿qué dice acá? Pero si fuéramos infieles, él permanece fiel. Porque él no puede negarse a sí mismo. Nunca falla. So in uh, 2 Timothy, we're going to read, and the musicians can, can come and we're going to get ready to sing at the end. It says, um, Therefore I endure everything for the sake of the elect, that they too may obtain the salvation that is in Christ Jesus with eternal glory. Here is a trustworthy saying, If we died with him, we will also live with him. If we endure, we will also reign with him. If we disown him, he will also disown us. If we are faithless, he will remain faithful, for he cannot disown himself. 
He never, he never fails. Así que podemos confiar plenamente, incluso si fallamos, él nunca va a fallar. So we can trust fully in him. If we fail, he will never fail us. Por eso la oración que enseñó Jesús eh, en el sermón del monte empieza diciendo, Padre nuestro que estás en los cielos, santificado sea tu nombre. That's why when we read the Lord's Prayer, it starts off by saying, uh, Heavenly Father, Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. ¿Qué significa santificado sea tu nombre? What does it mean, uh, hallowed be your name? En otras palabras, podríamos decir, que tu nombre sea reconocido santo entre nosotros, sin pecado, sin falla, fiel, infalible. In other words, we can say that, Lord, may your name be holy among us, um, uh, faithful one, one who is infallible. Esa es la forma de orar. Empezar reconociendo que Él es santo, que Él no falla. No estamos santificando a Dios haciéndolo santo, sino reconociendo que Él ya es santo, que Él no falla, que no hay pecado en Él, que no puede fallar nunca. And that's how we start praying, by recognizing that his, he is holy, that his name is holy. We're not sanctifying him by saying that ourselves, but we're recognizing it in our hearts, that he's the one who never fails. La Biblia nos enseña a probarlo. Probemos y veamos cuán bueno es el Señor. And the Bible uh, invites us to, to try, to encourage us to try. Let's try, taste and see uh, that the, the Lord is good. El Salmo 34, 8 dice, prueben y vean que el Señor es bueno. ¿Qué quiere decir que es bueno? Otra vez, que no falla, que es perfecto. En Salmo 34, 8 says, uh, el 34, 8, ¿eh? Yeah, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. Dichosos todos los que confían en él, termina diciendo. The blessed is is everyone who takes refuge or trusts in the version in him. Why did uh, the curse come to the world? Por no creer en el Dios que no falla. Because of not believing in the God who does not fail. No es tan así lo que dice. It's, oh, it's not quite like that what he says. ¿Y por qué viene la bendición? And why does the blessing come? Por creer en el Dios que no falla. Believing in the God who does not fail. Prueben y vean que el Señor es bueno. Dichosos, bendecidos, benditos, Taste and see that the Lord is good. Uh, blessed are everybody who trusts in Him. Proverbios 3, 5, otra vez lo leo, lo que leí al principio. Confía en el Señor de todo corazón y no en tu propia inteligencia. Proverbs 3, 5 says, Trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Dios es fiel. Podemos confiar plenamente en que no falla. Él es infalible. God is faithful and we can trust um, that he will never fail. He is infallible. Amen. 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 Amen.